Okay, happy Thursday, everybody. And it's Maria behind the camera because I've got no cameraman today. Uh, but I am thrilled and delighted to be here at Care One at the Coppola at the Pumpkin Fest. So with me today are Jennifer Van Dam from Care One at the Cupola and Jelena Lapari, Harmony Village at Care One. And I'm gonna jump in the frame and have a conversation with these ladies. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. Oh, our pleasure. So, for those of you who don't know, we're here at Care One at the Cupola, out on their gorgeous patio. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So we're under a pergola. There's a big outdoor kitchen. What's going on here? So the nice thing about oh, wait, this is my necklace there. But the nice thing <laughs> about our our courtyard is that. Um, we, it's for our residents and for professionals. It's great. It's, it's a beautiful space that even during the pandemic, our residents have been able to come out. They've been able to socialize, be with their friends. They haven't been able to, they weren't isolated to just their apartments, um, which was a phenomenal thing for their spirit, um, for their well-being. I think that was really, really great to keep their, um, it made their loved ones happy too, to know that they weren't just stuck inside through this last year and a half. And I think also what we could all relate to is the fresh air makes everyone feel good. So it's important for everyone to get outside, get fresh air, but it's even better when you have this beautiful space. Yeah, really. So you're having a pumpkin fest today. What what is that? Why have it? What's going on today? We're celebrating. Want to go? Or <laughs> We're celebrating fall. Absolutely. Um, we have amazing culinary directors, and they're highlighting a bunch of different pumpkin flavored snacks, treats, drinks, um, and we're giving everyone a chance to decorate pumpkins. Just something fun for a bunch of professionals to get out, enjoy the beautiful weather, get together, um, hear about one another, appreciate what everyone does. You know, we've all worked really, really hard over the last year and a half. I mean, we work hard, I think, every day anyway, to make our loved ones, our residents' um, days as happy as possible and as healthy as possible. Um, and I think even during the last year and a half, it's it's really amplified. Um, and I think this is a good way for all of us to just spend some time together, just appreciate all of what we've done, um, and to just thank them for being a support system for Care One um, and for each other. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we all work together, we all work really, really closely with such phenomenal resources, because not only the residents that come here to Care One, to either my building or to Delina's, um, but they're looking for outside resources. Say it's a dentist, say it's a realtor. Um, you know, we need to have a support team um, to be able to work with. And when we do these professional events, it's not only do we get to know them professionally, I get to know you as a friend, Maria. So I know if I, a resident's family needs to sell a house, I can personally give them a card and say, I know Maria personally and professionally, so I can trust in your, your services, which mm -hmm. is really, really great. Mm -hmm. so now, there's two of you here from two different communities. How do you, how are you related? So we're all under the Care One family. Um, we both are assisted livings. We both have specializations. Um, Harmony Village is an all dementia assisted living. What we do is we group them together by their cognitive level in six different secure neighborhoods. Um, 21 people, so small living groups, but everything's based on their cognitive level. And we have a dementia care specialist that supports the needs of the residents and the families and also teaching our staff and leading support groups um, to help everyone that needs it. And Cupola also has one as well. So we do. We have a small memory care. We actually have the original Harmony Village, so that's how the name was based out of. Um, so we've been here 27 years. Yes, yeah, so our building's been here 50. Care One has owned it for 27. Um, so we're one of the oldest assisted livings for Care One. Um, and our assisted living is we do primarily the highest acuity, the highest level of care amongst any assisted living mm -hmm. in Bergen County, which is really, really great. So we handle residents that are independent, that want to be here just for their meal socialization, things of that nature, maybe some light housekeeping and um, their laundry be done. But then we also handle the other spectrum of those residents that need full care. Those residents that might have had a massive stroke that need help with transfers. Um, toileting, everything that they possibly could need, even a two-person transfer with a toilet. We can do that here under our roof and still live in a beautiful home-like environment 
and still have the aesthetics without having to be in a nursing facility if that's the, where the family is choosing for them to live. Mm -hmm. And one of, one of the things that, that strikes me is how welcoming, friendly, and the level of socialization with all your residents. Absolutely. So yeah. it's not just the residents uh, socializing with each other. And I don't, I don't know if I caught it in the camera, but there are people in the background sitting at, at, at tables under umbrellas and enjoying the beautiful weather together. Having a nice little cocktail. <laughs> yeah. It's happy hour. It's happy Why hour. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Might as well. Uh, but it, it's, it's the way they interact with you guys. And, and that is, is, is really um, a special element to care one. We become their extended family. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Up, you know, yeah. we have both lost the parents or two, you know, and it's really nice to have that extended family. They become our adopted grandmothers, adopted moms, you know. I have one resident who says, you know, I'm going to make you my fourth daughter. And I said, you know what, I don't have a mom anymore, so this is great. <laughs> you know, this is wonderful for you. You know, when I walk in, I say, hey, mom, and she loves it, and I love it, you know, and it makes it brings a tear to my eye, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's really, really great because we become one extended family to them, yeah. which is great, especially yeah. during the pandemic. You know, they weren't able to care for their, you know, be with their families for a short period of time. And we were their family, you know. And they're ours as well, you know. It's Absolutely. really, it's truly like one big extended family. Yeah. No, I know that because when, whenever I'm here at an event or even, you know, walking through to see a client, they can, you know, the residents all know you. And it's, it's one thing to know the staff that interact with them, maybe intimately, mm -hmm. or the dining room staff or whoever, but to know the sales staff is really, really special. And uh, you feel that coming through. Yeah. Throughout the community. You know, I always tell families, you know, not only are we going to care for your loved one, but we're going to love on your loved one. So that's really, really important. They want to feel that love. You know, they mm -hmm. want to know that, you know, at one point when they have to, you know, place their, their mom, their dad, their grandparent in a community somewhere that they can go home and put their head on a pillow and say, you know what, I feel good and content that my mom or my grandmother or my grandfather or my aunt my uncle are, they're safe, they're cared for, they're loved, just as if I was caring for them too. So that's what I always want to emphasize. And I know yeah, Selena does the same when she's yeah. meeting these families. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And that rich social life that you enable them to have. Absolutely. Yeah. Just yeah, thank you. So at Harmony, we actually group, because we group them together by their cognitive level, it's people at the same level being able to communicate. So it encourages peer relationships with one another. Um, it allows them to be across the table from someone that could relate to them. Um, it's a beautiful thing. And I know you guys do it too on a smaller scale because they have a the original smaller harmony, but also with your but assisted, our assisted living. living. It's great. We just started um, going on outings again. So we're just doing excursions now where they're getting on the bus and just doing what will be the trees starting to change and things of that nature. Um, but the paper mill playhouse is just starting to open. So we're investigating nice. to see if we're going to be able to do that. You know, last year we were able to take 10 to 12 residents. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that again this year. You know, we're taking one day at a time with mm -hmm. everything that's going on. Um, we did just have our booster um, clinics here, so we had it over the last two weeks. So we are as well. We almost have yeah. almost 100% of residents that are have hope, well, have had their booster shots, um, which is great. Um, and the only reason we're not at 100% is because we have a few residents that have had the Johnson and Johnson, and they they're not eligible for their booster yet. Mm -hmm. um, so that will once they are, we will set up a clinic for those residents also, and then we will be at 100%. Yeah, the same thing, same thing with us. Yeah, you know, we want to be able to take that responsibility from the family so they don't have to worry about this stuff. When do I have to take my mom for the next flu shot? When do I have to do that? So we did flu and boosters last year, last week rather. Um, so the families don't have to take that responsibility. They don't have to worry about, you know, getting somebody into a car and taking them to the pharmacy. We did all of that work for them. Mm -hmm. which is really good. In both of our facilities, we try to, like we always say to families, we'll do the hard work. You just worry about being the daughter. You just worry about being the yeah. friend. You just worry about being the cousin and we'll take care of everything. Yeah, so important because we see it every day with the family members trying to do things better left to a professional and failing to be the daughter or son. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So. You know, when you're stretching too many, you know, too many roles, you don't achieve any of them. And that's why we want to be able to have them achieve being that daughter and that son again. And we, where we have the expertise, we have the best clinicians here working in our buildings. You know, we have the high-rated directors of nursing and nursing teams here. 
um, in both of our buildings. Mm -hmm. So, and administrators, both of our administrators have worked for Care One for my administrator has been for 25 years. She's worked in this building, and Reese has worked for Care One for a number of years as well for a really, really long time. So they have that longevity. And they know the buildings. They know the, the residents, and that's a really, really great thing to have too. Anything you want to leave our viewers with? Anything special you want them to know? Um, one of the things I want them to know is that, you know, we are here to be part of their team, part of their um, circle. So if they have concerns with anything, they have they have questions with anything, even if their loved ones are at home, we are a resource for them. Uh -huh. So if, you know, we may not be the best fit for everybody, but we are we have a resource for people. I've been doing this for 30 years. Um, so I have connections with people out in every field. Um, and I know Jelena's been doing this, so she's a little bit newer, but she also has really great connections with people. So we can be in contact with anybody if anybody wants to reach out to us at any time. Yeah. Um, and we can help them with anything from realtors to financial planners to just even placement, um, you know, to help um, lift any stress that the families might have. Yeah, and we're more than happy to help. I mean, we always talk about every relationship we have with families, with residents, with professionals, as partnerships. And we want to be a resource to whoever we can, and we're happy to help. Yeah, and I can I can personally attest to that <laughs> because seriously, if I need anything, I know I can call Jelena, I know I can call Jen. I'm always going to get the straight scoop. I'm always going to get pointed in the right direction if they're not the ones that are able to help. So, Absolutely. Well, thank you for that. Thank, thank you so much. You. So we're going to get there. Um, I'm going to turn off the camera now but we're going to get their uh, contact information uh, on the page for you uh, of course you can always reach out to us and we'll put you directly in touch with uh, these ladies but we've got to go because I see a sign over there for a spiked apple cider signature cocktail absolutely that I really yes. like to be tasting so, absolutely so. We're looking forward to it <laughs> looking forward to it thanks for being here thank today. you, thank so, you much. so much